Hello there, welcome back to the channel and it is time to get this series properly underway. It is Save Our Season. We are with FC Emmen in the Eredivisie. They are bottom at the halfway point and the, the task at hand is very simple. Just keep them up. Um, so today we've got the first game that we take charge of. It's against PSV, so baptism, baptism of fire. Um couple of little things to go through today uh, before the match. We're going to just have a look at the... We play some friendlies, of course, because we were in the winter break. Um, there was a little bit of um, unhappiness immediately when I took over. Um, so I first took over and then there was three or four players came to me saying that um, they were unhappy because they hadn't been playing under the previous manager. Could I guarantee them football, things like that? Um, and I said... Most of them, I think I said, you. well, I said to them all, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. Um, and all of them took it well, except one, um, but he was a non-contract player. And he'd started to upset some of the other teammates. So he went. Uh, we released him on a free. He was a non-contract player. It was a stupid move on his behalf. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how we've been getting on in the, uh, in the winter break. Um, and as you can see... We've done okay. So we had a couple of um, a couple of tournaments. Uh, every game we played was at home, trying desperately to raise some money. Um, so the first one was the Emmen Becker. Uh, Becker it, oh, I could be pronouncing that wrong. That is Dutch for uh, cup. Um, as you can see up there, you've got the uh, the KNVB Becker. Um, so we unfortunately we lost at home time to uh, Eintracht Braunschweig with a goal from Philip Hoffman on the hour mark. Um, it was a good performance. Both teams had a man sent off, but we did okay. Um, but in the third place playoff, Hilal Ben Musa got a hat trick as we beat uh, Hoog Straten at 3 1. We then took on Rathing Club Lons. Um, we were a goal down after just three minutes, but we were then 2-1 up with two penalties. Um, uh, as you can see there, it was our goalkeeper that took the penalties. Um, I'd gone in to change the penalty taker, as he can, um, and for some reason the game thought I'd picked the goalkeeper. As it goes, he scored them both, so that was quite good. Um, Monet Paquet got them back on level terms, but five minutes from time, Nicholas Pedersen scored to give us the win. Um, and then we had another tournament, the Meerdijk Becker. Uh, the Meerdijk is the, um, the, the stadium um, that we play in, and we won this tournament. So we beat Liers 2-0 with Luciano Schlagwehr and Royven Niemeyer getting the goals. And then against Locker and Luciano Schlagwehr scored another two. The first one after about well it was from the kickoff. The kickoff highlight was about 15 seconds. And he's actually on loan to us from Lockeren. So that would have gone down well with his employers. Um but we ended up winning that tournament. Um now the amazing thing is that surprising me more than anything is that we're doing this in the formation that we're playing. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But the reason that we're playing the formation that we're playing is because of the players we've got. Now, this is one of the things I was really looking forward to with this series, is getting um, a player that i uh, sorting out a formation based on the squad that I've got, rather than you pick a formation and then you, you, know, you buy and sell players. But if we have a look at the finances, as we did in the last video... We got no money. We're losing money hand over fist. It's ridiculous. Um, we're spending more than more than we need to be on wages. We've got no money in the transfer budget, so I can't do anything. Um, and yeah, so for that reason, for the first time ever, when it decides to come up, I'm going strikerless um, because we've got some centre backs, we've got some midfielders, we've got some wide players, we've got no strikers. So. This is how we've been going. Um, I'll bring out all, all this uh, here as well. If any of you are familiar with strikerless systems, then maybe you can uh, let me know anything that you see that I'm doing wrong. Feel free to pause it on the instructions. Um, we haven't got any out-of-possession instructions at the minute. Everything's just standard. Um, I haven't messed about with that. Um, and yeah, it's it's gone okay. But again, significantly not good teams I guess um, so we're going to go for it today I'm really loving this midfield pairing of Wouter Marinus uh, who's a good deep line playmaker excellent passing uh, he, he looks like he could run the midfield for us um, and then the other guy next to him is Michael Chachon 
Um, and again, really like the look of the guy. Very, very good performances for us in the uh, in the winter break. So I'm really quite liking that pairing. And these three up top are doing okay as well. Now, Banning, I've been playing a few different play- players in this position. Um, we did have... Um, Hilal Ben Musa there, but unfortunately he is out for um, only he got injured um, what five days ago, and he's out for another three or four days. Um, but Banning's doing quite well there as well, so quite happy with that. But yeah, let me know how you think that formation is um, is set up with the instructions and everything and the player roles. Um, we've got PSV coming to town. <laughs> what a start to the uh, to the mission of saving Emin season. PSV come to us with a ridiculously strong squad. Uh, Jeroen Zoe in goal. Angelino, who I had at Marseille on FM17, and I loved him. He was brilliant. Uh, Daniel Schwab is there. Um, who's the Frey? In, is that Marlon? Mar- yeah, Marlon Frey. Bert Ramazlar, Bart Ramazlar, um, Bergvine, Herving Lozano, and Luke de Jong up top. We're going to get absolutely mullered today, I fear. Um, so we're just going to calmly say, um, oh, we're not bottom. I, I, hands up, we're not, we're not bottom. Um, because the team that were directly above us lost 2-0, I think. I can't remember who it is now. Um, which has lifted us up to 17th on goal difference. Um so technically, we're not we're not actually bottom at the minute. Um, so uh, right, I'm going to say the recent form standings have PSV in seventh, while we're in fifteenth. That went well, didn't it? <laughs> right, here we go. Selected players, go out there, and make a difference. Woohoo! Three bits of green. Well, I'm going to get this interview out of the way. I'll see if I kick off. The players are coming out of the tunnel eventually once the manager's done their handshake um, and it's the Deuda Medaik is our stadium Um, and I've got this camera angle on at the minute. It's one of the TV camera angles, I believe. Um, Yeah, TV camera angle. I really quite like it. It's it's pretty good. Um, It's just... I, yeah, I do like it. I do like it. It's like the single camera games that you get on the Football League sometimes, isn't it? Um, so let's hope, actually, before it goes, let me just have a look who it was that's bottom. Um, oh, it's Excelsior now, who we play soon, I think. Um, so if we can get at least a point today, that would be a phenomenal start. Anything more than that is a dream. Anything under a 5 0 defeat is. Quite good, I would say. But here's Schlagvia. Marinus. Oh, and Banning sink straight away. And a good save from Zoe. That's a promising, promising start, though. A good early attack. And we have messed around with the corners a little bit. Altered some positions um, in the hope that we actually can become quite effective from set pieces. Um, but we're on the defensive now, which is probably going to be the theme of the game. Uh, Angelino to Bergvein. He's ridden the challenge. It's back with the left back now into Luke de Jong. Ominous possession in the penalty area. In it goes, but it's cleared away. Of course, the problem with having a strikerless is that we have no outlet, and the shot from Ramsalar is off target. Suleiman with the throw. Banning flicks on, but it's cleared away. But we have it back. Marinus to Chacon. Back to Marinus. Good ball out wide to Kavlan. In it goes. Schlagvia's header, and Zoe again saves, but encouraging really encouraging signs we've had three shots and two on target i'm i'm really happy with the opening 20 minutes as the uh, backer clears that one away it's back with angelino now the thing i like about the strikerless is we do get 11 men behind the ball um but it might not matter there the header is saved by sherpen oh okay there's a free kick out here now i don't know what happened there uh, ramsala will take and sherpen holds on well Chana Kavlan with the throw in. Merinus is in the box. Niemeyer, Banning, Kavlan. Good play. Marinus could get the shot away. And it just never got the curl on it to get it inside that far post. But again, I'm really, really encouraged. Even, no matter what happens from here on in in this match, uh, when we come up against um, teams in and around us, I'm really, really encouraged that we can do something. Um, but Schwab has the ball now. Long ball forward. If they're just going to resort to long balls, I'm happy with that. But Ramsalar, don't give him the space that far out. 
He is a bit of a specialist at that, and he has fired PSV into a unsurprising lead. You cannot give him that sort of room. I mean, look at that. He's got all the time in the world, and it's poor from Sherpen as well. <sighs> A special strike from Ramsalar is the difference between the two teams at the break. But I, as I say, I am encouraged. We've committed an awful lot of fouls. We're not set to hard tackling. As you saw, I haven't got any out of, posi out of possession um, things set up. So maybe might have to change that. Um, as far as I'm aware, the tackling isn't set to hard. But we're gonna we're gonna say. Um, Do I say you've been unlucky so far, or no? I'm going to say I know we're the underdogs, but go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. And we're just going to tell them again that they can still improve. We have faith. Let's get out there. Let's see if we can. Um, well, keep the score below five is the uh, is the first objective, of course. Uh, scoring a goal would be lovely as well. Give the home fans something to cheer as Lozano skips into the box. The cross caused a bit of problem. Bergvine has it now and hits a brilliant shot. And Sherpen with an excellent save. He's impressed me in the um, in the winter break. He does look quite good and his penalty taking is pretty good as well. Um, but the ball is cleared away. It's now with Viergeva. Out to the left, Bergvein has it, cleared away. We're under the cosh a little bit, but as long as we don't let in another goal, we won't be bottom, um, which would be nice. But yeah, it's, I mean, that back five is a bit worrying that they're all apprehensive and nervous, but um, let's see what's going to happen here. Ramsalar hits a free kick over. Come on, boys. Sherpen with the goal kick. We've got him set to take them short. Um, but that's the problem. Um, a long ball forward, and of course, there's no one up front to find. So we've got to keep the ball down. Um, that's a great ball in. Oh, and Niemeyer has absolutely missed a sitter there. But a brilliant little move. And again, more signs of fight in this team. I mean, they're not marooned at the bottom. That's why this save is really interesting. Um, because it is so tight down there. Ramsalar with the free kick. It's into the wall and out for the corner. A couple of changes we've made. Um, we've taken off uh, Niemeyer and Banning. Anko Janssen and Kasper Oldenberger have come on. A Sherpen holds on to that header. Uh, PSV have definitely been a better team. We've dropped it back to cautious. Just because um, it's more of a counter mentality, that one. So hoping that that might do something. But we're still in the game with 12 minutes to go. Oldenberger will take the corner. In it goes. And the header with Goldwoods and Jerome Zoe is able to hold on to it. That was a good, good corner and a good header. Um, Bergwijn now could lead the counter. Oh, De Jong's lost out. Oldenberger. Come on. Michael Chacon has gone off as well, by the way. Alexander Afusi has come on for him. Here's Anko Janssen with the shot. Get in. What a strike that is from pretty much the same blade of grass, I think, that Bart Ramsalaf scored from. And we just dropped a show some passion shout out. We've gone really, really harsh. And that is the result. What a rocket that is. No keeper in the world is saving that. Schlagwehr is going to take this corner. Surely there's not going to be another goal. Oh, oh, we've got VAR. Is he looking for a penalty or something here? He must be looking for like a handball or something. Are we going to have a possibility of a penalty? He's looking at the video. I forgot VAR was in the area of his seat. And he's back onto the pitch. And he's given the penalty. I do not believe it. Who is going to be taking I think. I don't know who's going to take it. Um... Anko Janssen. So it was. David Felt handled the ball. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be Anko Janssen to take the penalty. Definitely going to have to be Anko Janssen. David Felt. Is he going to be booked? He is. And wow, what what an opportunity this is. What a dream turnaround this could be. Anko Janssen. Up he steps. And Sticks the penalty away. It's his second goal of the game. The substitute is making a play for a start. You've got to say Zoe was 
ever so close, wasn't he? He goes the right way. How he's got that close to it and not kept it out is beyond me. But what a start to the series if we can hold on here. We're just going to drop a little... Oh, do I do it? Do I drop a... Yeah, we're going to drop a little concentrate shout-out. We... I should have maybe done tighten up maybe um they're going to come all at us now aren't they this is going to be a long four and a half minutes bergvine oh and a shot and a flying save from sherpen what a brilliant save and he held on to it as well throwing down the other end though um i don't think i've got the time wasting set up to time waste endlessly um but bergvine is going to look for luke de jong lozano Gutierrez, Schwab, get out there to him, get to him, get to him, get to him. Luke de Jong and he's cleared away. Come on, come on, we've got three minutes to go, boys. Here's Gutierrez. Oh, no, no, no. And the shot is into the stands. This is potentially an amazing result. Um, let's have a look. In possession. Oh, it is set to frequently waste time. I think I'll leave it at that. I think I will. I don't think I'm going to touch anything. I, I don't think I'm going to touch anything. Um, yeah, we're not we're not going to do anything because it, it it would just complicate things at the minute. We're going to do it. We're 23 seconds over. Zoe hits it long. Blow your whistle, referee. He does. What a result. I mean, we were 1-0 down with six minutes to go and we have beaten one of the title favourites by two goals to one. What a result. What a performance. I mean, it, we were never overrun. I mean, PSV were the better team. The stats tell you that. But, I mean, we had eight shots. We put five on target. And, oh, my word, have I stumbled upon a formation. I mean, I, have, I know Strikerless is a favourite. I know a lot of people play it. I know it gets a lot of good results. But I've built that from scratch. I've done nothing. I've never ever even attempt I love a striker I love a striker I've never even contemplated going strikerless until I really analyzed the squad that we've got and this was all I could do um wow what a result potentially what a tactic and it looks like we might have our first feud on the go here as Mark van Bommel says wow I don't think he looked proudly on this match. We outclassed them in every department and they've somehow fluked a result. Yeah, you just wait till I get into my press conference, Marco, because I am going to destroy you for that. How can you say you outclassed us in every department? That's ridiculous. It was a brilliant battling performance. I mean, you've got multi-million pound squad and you can't come there and hold on to a win. Sorry, mate, you need to look in the mirror if you want to see failure there. Um, wow, what a result. It's immediately lifted us out of the bottom, um, out of the relegation playoff, everything. <laughs> That's just unreal. Um, so we've got Nack Breda, Pex Voller and Excelsior below us. And I mean, I'm not going to be stupid enough to say we can look up towards Willem Tvai and, and that at the minute. Um, it's one game at a time, cliche klaxon. Um, our next game is Ve 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 away, um, and then we've got R Z away, and then Den Haag at home, and then a trip to Excelsior. So, I'm, mm. do I play three off camera? I think, and we'll come back for Excelsior. Um, let's just get a little bit further in because ideally I don't want this this series to go. It's going to come out daily, as you know, and I don't want to. I don't want it to go too much beyond a week. I, if if it has to do like eight nine days, that's fine. But I don't really want it going too much further. So because we might have to do um, more games towards the end of the season, depending on how it is, we'll try and knock out a few games at, earlier on. Um, I might even drop to key highlights and do two games a video if that's what it takes. But that's the beauty of this little mini series. It's for, for something for me to experiment at. Seen that with the formation. Look at that. Five wins in a row using this formation now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole idea of this. It's you know for me to experiment in leagues that I've never managed in before with teams that I certainly wouldn't choose. Um, and you know, 
we'll see how it goes. So huge game against Excelsior in tomorrow's video. Hope you'll join me for that, guys. Jump in the comments as always. Um, and links in the description for the main series with Estudiantes and Twitter, the blog, all that sort of stuff is down in the description. Um, <clears throat> I'm choking. I'm so excited. What a win. Um, drop a like, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications. Come back for the next episode of that huge game at Excelsior. And we'll see you for it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.